Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube lanes, it's your boy Tuglo, and today I come to you with about six or seven different things that I wish I would have known as soon as I started Sword Art Online Fatal Bullets. So let's go ahead and get into these, these little nice little tips and tricks. So the first one is starting off when you play the game you start off with kureha and your arphasis now one thing that you might notice is that i have agil here with me now i didn't know this until you know damn near completing the whole first floor that you can actually add people to your team so you know you can add itsuki kirito asana the list goes on and on but i chose agil because i needed a tank for my specific party now in order to add them you'll want to be outside of a battle area you know like in the field or something you'll want to do it when you're back at home to add in people to your group now the next thing that i want to talk about are gadgets there are many different types of gadgets that you can get from the shop in the governor's office and one thing that i really like about it is that you don't have to buy multiples of them so for instance with uh the grenade that i have right now uh you don't have to have any type of skills to use it uh, as far as you know x amount of strength points x amount of dexterity points etc etc now the one cool thing about it is that you do not have to uh buy multiples of them in order to uh you don't have to buy multiples of them in order to continue using them it's based off of a cooldown uh timer versus a quantity that you have so every 25 seconds for that grenade i'll be able to use it again so as you can see here we'll just throw this right there uh yeah totally missed <laughs> i'm not a grenade user Lumbo. but the gr the grenade and many different types of gadgets are available in the sh in the governor's office uh that will be of extreme use. There are also different types of gadgets, whether it be different variations of grenades, uh, first aid kits, different things of that nature. Now, uh, the next thing that I wanna talk about are is the uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, you see different skills that I have equipped uh, for this type of gun. Then if you switch over here, now we have a different skill where I can shoot fire onto the ground. So all of these different skills are available to you. But before I show you how to equip them, I do want to say the next thing is the map travel. I did not know that you can go here and just map travel like this. I thought you had to always go to, you know, the very beginning of here and then zone out and then run all the way back to your home and then go into your crib. No, 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 no. You can map travel from anywhere. That would have saved me so much time had I known all of that. Let's go ahead and skip through that real quick. Uh, that would have saved a lot of travel time. So as you can see here, we were just at the field. Now we are right into our room that saved many load screens and all of that. So here in your home at this little, I don't know what you want to call this the iPhone 47 that comes with a keyboard. Uh, at the iPhone 47, uh, you'll see your skill sets and your gadget sets. So this is where you will be equipping your gadgets and your skills that we're about to talk about. So for keyboard and mouse, that's what I'm playing with. So that's what I'll be talking about. So for keyboard and mouse, you're gonna start with your left one is one, your top is two, your bottom is three, then your right is four. So I have my frag grenade set at two. That just feels comfortable for me. So then we're going to talk about skill sets next. Uh, with your skill sets, as you can see here, it has, you know, different types of guns, but some of them don't have anything loaded into them. So for instance, the rocket launcher, I have nothing on it because I'm not using the rocket launcher. But if we look at the sniper rifle, I have, you know, healing bullet concentration, HP recovery shot, eagle eye. And then the same thing, except I have blazing blast in my slot number three. Now, the biggest thing with skills is your skills are attached to your weapon type so if i were to you know equip two shotguns or if i did a shotgun and a gatling gun i would have to 
put on different skills or I could put on the same skills that I had, you know, for my sniper rifle and my assault rifle. But let's say you get a new type of weapon that's a Gatling gun and it's super strong compared to what you're using. Make sure you go back to your home and equip the skills because you'll go out into the field thinking you know you had your skills from the last weapons that you had. No, 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 no. You'll go out there blank, shooting blanks, and got nothing, man. So you definitely don't want that happening. Now, the next thing on top of skills that we're going to look at are your stats. Each stat increases different things for your character so strength down at the bottom it says strength affects melee damage as well as how much weight you can carry it also affects weaponry you know your vitality is going to be your hp your intelligence is going to be uh your skill your gadget effects your recharge times as well as status ailment attacks and so on and so forth now you say why is that important to me that's because that the amount of skill points that you put into each stat is going to be very crucial depending on what type of gameplay that you want to do so now for instance let's say i want to be a sniper uh if i want to be a sniper if we look at the prerequisites let's say i want bullet line eraser one i'm gonna need 20 strength and eight dexterity well what happens if i'm pumping all of my stuff into vitality and into intelligence sniper might not be the way that i want to go instead we can use a sniper rifle and we can still be a support which is going to use vitality and intelligence so different play styles are going to require different types of weapons now some weapons are going to be better for some play style so for instance a sniper rifle you're not going to go in there wanting to be an assault uh, type class you're not going to want to go in there being a tank type class with a sniper rifle that just wouldn't make any sense now you you might want to go in there with something like a gatling gun you know where you can just kind of stand there and because you got all this health and you got all the, these different buffs you know it's it's very you know you gotta kind of think and plan ahead it's kind of like a game of chess it's very very intricate and that's something i like now one thing that I did notice was that on my Arphasis, her skills, uh, let me go, let me see where it's at. So right here. So she has 100% uh, of proficiency on her healing bullet. Now, now that she's got all of that, as you can see here, my luck stat is not high enough. It needs to be an 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the luck. Oh, Okay, we can't do that because I don't have enough points to do that. So in order for me to grab the second healing bullet, I'm going to need to increase her luck stat up to 8. And then I'll be able to buy that healing bullet for 30 skill points. So once you get your bullet 1, then it'll increase it to a bullet 2. Then you'll have to start your uh, proficiency at 0, bring it all the way back up to 100 once again. Now, I know it kind of felt like a little scatterbrain, but just kind of going over real quickly those little tips and tricks it's your skills are based off of your weapons you can use four people total in your group from your friends list and it doesn't have to be your arphasis and kureha you know if you want to run kirito asana and sinon and then yourself you're more than likely welcome to do whoever you want in your party that uh, you want to play with then we talked about the gadgets how to e equip your gadgets and where to find them also the same thing with your skills kind of how to determine what skills you want to use and where to equip them from and to make sure that you are using the weapon type for the skills that you equip them the last is that map travel that's something that quick easy you know let's say you just picked up a quest and let's say hey i know i need to be at the remnant wasteland i know i need to be at the cave click that bada bing bada boom you're right there you don't have to go through glock and you don't have to go through 30 different multiple login screens so guys that's all i got for this six or seven quick little tips and tricks for what i wish i knew when i was first starting out the game if you liked it be sure to leave a like share comment and subscribe to the youtube channel as i would greatly appreciate it guys hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next one peace out